Hey guys, so the day that you have all been waiting for is finally here. Rihanna finally did what basically every person on the planet was asking her to do and released more gloss bombs. You guys know her lip gloss formula, the gloss bomb. She released not just more shades, but she actually came out with a set for the holidays with five mini gloss bombs. This is probably the most exciting thing that Fenty Beauty launched this holiday season, at least in my opinion. She also came out with another one of her putty glitter highlighter things, a new shade of her liquid lipstick in a mini size, one of the cult favorite body lava shades in a mini size, which if you guys haven't seen my review on the Fenty Beauty body lava, I'll pop a link up here for you. But between everything she came out with, I think this was the thing that everybody was the most excited about. This set is called the Glossy Posse Mini Gloss Bomb Collection. You get five shades of gloss bomb, one shade in their original collection, and four brand new shades. We gotta talk about this gloss bomb formula, you guys. I'm gonna tell you guys my thoughts on it. Of course, I'm gonna swatch all five of these shades on my lips. I'll show you a lineup of these swatches next to the original Fenty Glow Gloss Bomb that I think basically all of YouTube already has and I know a lot of you guys already own as well. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump right into the fun stuff. Now the set of gloss bombs comes in this tin travel case. I actually quite like the case. The case is covered by this cardboard sleeve that has that beautiful holographic effect on it. When you pop open the tin case, all five of your mini gloss bombs are sitting in there all pretty and neatly. I do really appreciate the actual presentation of this set because I don't know, there's something about the color variety, the way it's all laid out, the way it's just so giftable with this tin packaging. I, I really like it. This gloss bomb set retails for $42 dollars which when I first heard the price I was a little shocked but when I do my price breakdown at the end of the video you'll see that it is still a good value for what you're getting like I said there is one shade in this set that is available in the full size already and that is the shade fussy which is this light neutral pink all four of these other shades are brand new and at least at this time they are exclusive to this set in terms of the actual packaging on these gloss bombs you can see that they are just a scaled down version of the full size packaging exactly the same little logo emblem on top it's got the same kind of pentagonal shape is that a pentagon yeah pentagonal shape it's just a little smaller and a little cuter and I actually quite like it and I'm sure many of you were wondering about the doe foot applicator on it it's got the same size doe foot applicator as the full size. It's one of those kind of giant doe foot applicators that makes application very, very easy. So here's just a quick arm swatch lineup of the five shades you're getting in the set, which are these first five swatches right here. I went ahead and swatched my Fenty Glow Gloss next to it, just so you could see the comparison of that full size next to the set. So before we get into the controversial part of this video, let me go ahead and jump into the lip swatches so you could see all five of the shades from this set swatched on my lips. First up, we have Pretty Please, and this is a sheer transparent hot pink base with these really, really pretty kind of iridescent rainbow sparkly flecks throughout it. This shade could definitely be layered, but it's a really, really pretty shade to wear even just by itself. Next up, we have Fussy, and this is the only shade that is available in the full size currently. This is a sheer neutral baby pink pink with silvery, I wouldn't even really call it glitter. It's got a really similar effect to the original Fenty Glow Gloss. It's almost like a little bit of metallic sheen that's infused throughout this shade. Next up we have Confetti. Now this is a unique one. This is a pretty much clear base with this really, really beautiful duochrome glitter shot through it. It's almost like this purple shifting blue glitter, but it's not overkill. For a sort of topper lip gloss, this could still be worn by itself without it looking crazy, but I think this would look gorgeous over other lipsticks. Hot Choco Lit 
love the name, is this really, really sheer brown base with another beautiful duochrome sparkle. The sparkle is almost like a pink to gold shift. And I will say looking at the lineup, this was the shade I was a little worried about, but for it looking fairly dark in the tube, it goes on extremely sheer on the lips, which I don't mind because it makes it really wearable. And then finally we have Cheeky, which is a sheer warm red base with this beautiful gold glittery sparkle effect to it. This is another shade that could definitely be topped over like red lipsticks. It would look gorgeous, but it actually works even by itself really, really well. So I hope those lip swatches were helpful to you guys. Please don't forget to thumbs up this video if it was. Now this is the part of the video that's going to get uh, into my review on this gloss formula. If you have followed my videos for a while, you already know what I think of this formula. But let me just tell you right now, if you get easily offended by a perhaps critical review on possibly your favorite product on this planet, you might just wanna click out of the video right now. This is just my review, my opinion. It's not the end all be all by any means, but here's the story. When this lip gloss came out originally on the market, the gloss bomb came out in one shade, Fenty Glow. This product received cult hype status pretty much instantly. When the Fenty Beauty brand launched at Sephora, this was one of the first products I picked up. I picked up the foundation, I picked up a couple of her matchsticks, the highlighters, and the gloss. From that initial launch, this was the product I was the most underwhelmed by, mainly because of the hype it was getting prior to me trying it. This gloss has received so much hype, I've never seen anything like it. Not for a lip gloss, at least. I mean, this gloss, people were purchasing multiples just to keep one in their purse, one at their vanity, one at their desk. Basically, this had become everybody's end-all be-all gloss. And while I thought it was a good gloss formula, it is a good gloss formula. I think that there are other lip glosses on the market that do just as good of a job, if not better. I've got a lot of gloss formulas that I rely on, that I go back to all the time. And for me, this one just ain't it. I know a lot of people love this gloss though. And I get why it is loved. It is a really thick, formula and for all those people who say it's not a thick formula you be tripping because this is a thick formula it even looks like syrupy when you kind of pull the wand out. i mean this is a thick formula but it's not sticky it is very comfortable on the lips it's definitely a gel type formula it lasts a decent amount of time for a gloss not the longest lasting gloss i have but i also don't expect it to last forever because a it's a gloss and b it's not very sticky so given the actual texture that the gloss is the way it feels on the lips I think it's really good. I mean, I wouldn't have purchased the kit if I didn't at least like the formula, but there's something about the culty status of this gloss that I just don't understand. It works exactly the same as these five, so if you're a fan of the original Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb, you'll be happy to know these in this set are the exact same formula. Very, very pretty. The effect is very, very pretty. It's a good gloss formula, it's good. But like, would I sell my firstborn child over it? No, and I know some people that would. I think the other thing about this formula that I'm not insanely nuts about is the scent. I know a lot of people love the scent. It's kind of like this apricot vanilla type scent. Okay, you guys tell me if I'm wrong now. If you are Indian or if you've been around Indian people, you know when you get Indian clothes shipped over from the motherland or if you live in the motherland, you know when you just buy Indian clothes and you rip open that plastic package that the tailor gives it to you in and you just smell the smell of Indian fabric. It has a very specific smell. It's one of those things where you either know it or you don't. You've either smelled Indian clothes or you haven't, but there is a scent. And I swear, this is that scent. Am I going crazy? I don't know, but that is what I've thought since the first time I smelled this. And ever since then, it's just, 
I can't, I can't get it out of my head. I just can't. If you have this gloss, does it smell like Indian clothes to you or am I just, am I just crazy? All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and do the product value breakdown for this set. If you were to purchase one of these full size, you would pay $18 for 0.3 ounces of product. That means that you would be paying $60 per ounce for this full size version. Some people get kind of confused when I do the ounces. Just remember that you're not getting a whole ounce in these tubes, which is why the price per ounce is so high high. So basically, if you were to purchase a whole ounce of this formula, you would be shelling out $60. In comparison, in this holiday set, each of these little tubes contains 0.18 ounces of product, which is just a little bit more than half of a full size version. Multiplying that by five, that means that you're getting 0.9 ounces total in this kit, which is exactly three full size tubes. Since you're paying 42 ounces for this kit, that means that you are paying $46.67 per ounce. $60 an ounce, $46 an ounce. You're definitely getting a good value here. Basically in this kit, you are getting $54 worth of lip gloss for the $42 that you're spending. And you're getting the ability to try five different shades, four of which aren't even available in the full size. So when you break it all down, it's a really, really good value, especially if you're a fan of this gloss formula. Even though I said that the gloss balm formula isn't my holy grail formula, I know it is for a lot of you guys and I do recommend recommend this kit for those of you who are a fan of the formula already. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to let me know in the comments down below what other holiday reviews do you want to see out of me this year. Also let me know if you want me to do a video on my personal favorite lip gloss formulas. This ain't bad. Don't come after me, don't at me, don't send Rihanna after me, please. But there are other formulas that I would recommend you guys try as well. So let me know if you guys want me to do that recommendation lip gloss video. Let me know in the comments down below. But other than that, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you enjoyed it, and I will talk to you in my next video very soon. I'll see you then. Bye.